You're back with Global Office here on CNN. Now, moments ago, we spoke with business guru Gary Hamill about how some of the world's top companies are characterized by their drive for innovation. Well, let's get more specific now. We thought we'd talk to two design experts about how good design can shape innovation. First question, can creative thinking be taught? You can certainly teach people to get the best out of what they have intrinsically, and you can analyze it as well. And I think that one of the big issues for us has been to demystify the process, the design process. Tom Barker is a design professor at the Royal College of Art. He's collaborating with graduate students at the LSE in an attempt to teach design thinking to tomorrow's top executives. What is different is, is the nature and the training of the people doing it. So we, for example, have the notion of what we call an industrial design engineer. He's got design skills, he's got engineering skills, he's got business skills. But he's also adopting analytical market techniques as an intrinsic part of his design process. As innovation becomes more valued by big business, large corporations are outsourcing their creativity. Well, the way Intel were doing it, they were outsourcing by effectively investing equity in more nimble, smaller businesses. What we're offering here is the ability to outsource the creativity to the individual designer. And what is important about that is, firstly, it's very economic. Secondly, you can do a lot of spread betting because you can afford to invest in a lot of designers. So as an organization, if you are looking to outsource the creative process, then it may be design schools or D schools that you're after. 